Just as there's a mean value theorem for derivatives, there's also a mean value theorem for integrals. So suppose we have a function f of x, and we're looking at an interval from a to b, and we'd like to know what's called the average value or the average height of f of x. And what we mean by that is the following. Suppose we made a rectangle, the green rectangle here, and the green rectangle has the same area as the area under f of x from a to b. Then we'd like to know what value c we plug in so that the output f of c here would be the exact height of that rectangle that has the same area. So the mean value theorem is about this scenario. Mean value theorem says if f of x is continuous on AB, then there must exist a value C on the interval such that f of C is the average value of the function. In other words, the area of the rectangle, and that would be f of C times the base, which is B minus A, equals the area under the function on that interval, integral from A to B of f of x dx. So in other words, f of C equals 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of f of x dx. And that is what we mean by the average value of the function. There must exist a c on the interval that gives that average value. So again, like the original mean value theorem for derivatives, this is another existence theorem. Mathematics is full of existence theorems. And again, mathematicians love these kinds of theorems. There, someone else who's using calculus, say a physicist or an engineer, probably doesn't care at all about existence theorems. But calculus is for a variety of uses. In the next example, next video, I'll show applying the mean value theorem in a particular case.